Hey guys, today we're trying out the demo for Eagle Island. So if you like what you look see here, you can you can play demo right now for free. It's just it's just on the Steam page, just right there. Hanging out. Let's see here. Casual rules, hardcore rules, not core rules. Challenging gameplay, three HP, four times combo, drops a heart. Sure. I guess judging from the bottom of that screen, it's probably on Switch also or something. Yeah. Nice little art style. Oh, we got a fast travel immediately. I don't appear to have a double jump, at least at the moment. Whoa! X throws my owl. And you can charge it. And strangely, you can charge it in midair and hover. Alright, so Y opens the map. B is my item selection. seems to always go back to the same spot. I don't know how that works yet. Ooh. Oh, maybe the other ones don't work, because hitting right bumper makes me always switch back to the same spot, it looks like. Yeah, so you can hold B to, hold, to keep this up and rotate through them, or left and right bumper switch the items. So I just have to unlock them. Use elemental feather. A falconer must expand Manora Manorok. When playing core rules or high core rules, you earn mana rock by defeating monsters in quick succession. A four times combo will earn a heart. Yeah. Yeah. Not gonna lie, for a second there I thought that he would like go through them in a chain like a badass. Oh. For a moment there, I thought the bunnies were coming out, like in Sonic. Like they're gonna, they're all coming out of the actual units. Oops. That was unnecessary for me to do. Let's try this elemental feather. Yeah. Oh, there's the streak. Yes. There we go. And now I have more than I started with because I did a good job. Interesting. Okay, so that's why it looked like there was one of them that I did have, and two that I didn't have. I was wondering about that. I had access to it, I just didn't have any energy to, to spend on it. Let's see. Currently don't have much reason to think that I can attack. Ooh. Ooh, you can attack diagonally. I don't currently have any reason to think I can attack in any way other than throwing my owl at people, which is hilarious. I attack entirely by throwing living creatures at others. Oh, not quite. It's a strong owl. Why isn't the owl just the protagonist? <laughs> Clearly doesn't need me. Like I'm giving him permission to do all the actual important stuff. Can I go in that door? It is very, it is, it is smaller than I am, alarmingly. No. Gah. I almost got hit in the face. Do you get a heart from doing a particularly fast combo? I seem to only... It said three hearts before, but it looks like I only have one heart on the screen. Maybe three heart points go into one heart segment or something? I don't know. I haven't taken damage yet, so I'm not hyper aware of the health system yet. Could take damage on purpose, but who wants to do that? Whoa. I keep my supplies up. Range. Time it. There we go. So can he swim? He can swim. Oh, I just threw a bird into the floor. Okay. So he seems to swim all right, but he, he always goes back to the surface if you don't control him. And maybe eventually you get into uh, health problems with the lack of breathing, I would assume. If this game has that kind of system in it. I am making some money. Are we good? 
I'm so bad to this this poor poor owl. All right. I don't see any indication that there was actually a breath system, so maybe we're just sa safe in the water. We'll see. Spend 22. I think I have that. Yep, that's the the bronze looking currency. Koji flies further when attacking. Tailwind. Ah! That's what these slots on the top of the screen are? They're which, they're which upgrades I have currently equipped on my pet? Koji? Not far enough, apparently. There we go. This game kind of acts as a strong counterpoint to the other game I was playing before, the one with the fox. Where it's like, look, see every little thing has a nice little like animation and like a sound that plays and little details like that even. Whereas like that game was just kind of lacking that stuff, like you'd hit an enemy and they'd disappear instantly in one frame with no death animation and no sound. And it's like, oh, it doesn't feel right when that happens. We've been conditioned for things to feel better than that. Even the even in the 8-bit Mario games, they weren't like, and then the enemy died completely silently by blinking out of existence instantaneously. Like, no, the enemies go a little big, a little doop, and then they flip upside down and fall off the level. Like, even with the most minimal animations ever, there was something. So it was so weird that I was playing a game that just had nothing. Can I buy one of these? Toucan trading. Welcome, traveler. Buy anything you like with your silver coins. Oh. I thought it was gonna cost me one energy and one heart to buy something when I saw the these two on the top of the string. Alright, so I don't need those. Ooh, I could use ma more maximum health. Ah. Make the make my throw faster. Quill jumps from a ledge, grab like an athlete. So there's some good there's some good things in here. Let's get more maximum health. That's usually a good idea. And then let's try this out. Maybe it'll help you with my platforming. Oh yeah, there's the extra health segment hanging down. I think the game said I had three health when I picked this file. So I imagine that the top heart is worth three and each of these extra segments is maybe worth one. That's probably how it works. All right, so we've, we've now established there's two different currency systems that are used in two different locations. So I use the silver at the shop Oh, look at that. It's actually, they're actually removed from his roster. Whereas to open that chest, I need the, the gold or bronze or whatever coins. I use the silver at the toucan. Yeah. There we go. I wasn't, sh I was starting to become unsure of whether you could attack enemies underwater. Like maybe you quickly gain lose access to There it was. He said jumps off of ledges ledge grabs like an athlete. That might allow me to access spots I can't otherwise. We'll see. It's a very strange attack system. Whoop. So far I can't say I'm totally in love with the idea of it, but if they have like really good level design that complements that attack, which they would hopefully have, then it'll make more sense over time. Right now I'm just hitting dudes that mostly stand there. And they're, I'm not really solving puzzles with it or solving fights with it. Because I'm just hitting a dude that can't fight back because they're mostly g characters that exist at a range where I just have a massive advantage. And the little charge up moment and then f firing doesn't necessarily appeal on its on its surface level. I've always liked melee though. Like I've only slightly dabbled in in Metroid and Mega Man because I always wanted to play Castlevania. <laughs> And Shovel Knight and stuff like that. So that could be me. That. Die. 36, you say? 
I do have that many. I'm gonna run out of slots though. Chests contain more gold seeds and silver coins. Ah, that's, the, that's why they have a weird shape to them when they're rotating. So those are seeds. But now I'm out of slots. Maybe I can upgrade more slots? Upgrade to half more slots? Can I like destroy this bridge? Hmm. I'm probably underutilizing my elemental attack that they give me, but it's mostly because uh, I'm waiting for like a boss fight to happen, or like even just a, a chain of enemies that would benefit from doing like a big multi-target hit like that. But I guess you probably restore it constantly, including whether. But that's the thing is like I, uh, before when I restored more of it, it was because I did a good job at doing the attack, you know, in a controlled, scripted situation. But still, here's a here's a good example potentially. Yeah, that's how you make your your money back when they all line up like that. Thank you for coming up right when I was talking about the premise of that situation. How coincident! How coincidental! So I can get more max health, but it takes up a slot that I already have full. <laughs> Three mana rock slots. I maybe I maybe would like that more than this jump ability, perhaps. Boink. Just go all in. I don't need to pay for them though. I'll get more on my own with my amazing skills. <laughs> amazing. So we're setting the stage for like a Metroidvania style world progression. Oh. Now we have like a, a biome change. Everything's got that heat warble. Ka. Ah. Weird jumping spider thing that shoots fire everywhere. Nope. 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 Hey, I have no use for these. I mean, I do. But I'm afraid to lose them. I'm definitely trying to find a boss fight. I'm like, come on. Show me. Show me what you got. This game has to have, like, closed chamber boss fights, right? Like Mega Man or something? Dare I open it when I'm probably not gonna... Press A as Quill impacts the ground, and he will spring high in the air. <clears throat> Where do these go? Do they just go in the trash whenever I don't hold on to them, basically? Because, yeah, you're limited on slots. Increased energy, increased health, increased throw distance, and increased wealth probably all make sense. Although, how good is increased wealth if my slots are full anyway and I can't use the stuff I'm getting? So maybe that's not worth holding on to. Whoa. Okay, that's now that's this is more like the thing I was talking about before. This is genuinely an increase in height. Unlike the thing I got about ledge grabs, this is an actual like, oh, this looks like it definitely will help me move around if I can't quite make it make it somewhere. Okay, y'all are everywhere. There's like there's kind of like a spam. It's a little it's a little much. I can't I can't afford them. Not both be, from currency standpoint and like where am I gonna put all this? Yes. Oops. Wasted. I want to get high enough to throw diagonally down at them. Didn't work out. But the previous combo rewarded me enough that we are good. What was the... Oh! says 67 on the top corner. Maybe that 52 was I need to have 52 kills? I only noticed that the, the game was counting just now. Yeah. Oh god. Oh! <laughs> I got lucky. Just don't want to die. Hey! It's like a roller coaster. 
And once I saw that slope, I was a little worried about how this was going to work out for me. Yeah. Who would build this? Oh, that was close. I was able to just barely get two throws off in a row. Oh, can't go down there. Whoa. Was that... Is that that you're about to die? Yep. Oh, your mega awesome owl that's definitely the protagonist of this game saves you. Oh, that was wasteful. Nope. It's harder to combo than it looks. These things wobble around a lot. <laughs> you bastard, come back here. Hey, Toucan Sam's here. Wait. Where'd my upgrades go? My upgrades are gone. That sounds awesome. A lightning bolt strikes him. Bounces off solid surfaces. These are actually really cool sounding. Well, I miss I was missing two of my upgrades and I did the little rescue twice. Maybe whenever your bird rescues you, you lose an upgrade. Which means that that second round of experimentation of just trying to repeat what happened was damaging. Huh. Huh. Startling. Oh, ow. Okay, we f I finally took a hit. So can't confirm, the first heart is three health. No, I have to go back. I now have currency. Come back! Returneth upon me. Please? No! I want the bouncy shot. This sounds cool. Dang it. It left. I'm gonna be a little less completionist about killing every enemy just because there's a, a lot of enemies per room. Admittedly, there are doors that require you to have a certain number of kills. Oh, that was close. But uh, I'd like to make a little more pr progress in the time that we have. Money! These guys, oh, they do attack you eventually. Ow, almost killed myself. I thought they were just flying in little patterns where they don't really aggressively follow you, really. I was very wrong. Am I in danger? Oh. Huh. Danger, danger. Die. <laughs> There's a lightning bolt. They managed to miss entirely. <laughs> you. <laughs> All right. Uh, sure. 58. What do you got? Get an additional three mana rock slots. Again? I guess so. I already bought it. Because they're randomized boxes. Oh! This is a bad time to not have health. Ah! Ah! No! Game over. What do these mean? Stats left and right. What do left and right mean? Where am I? Oh, did it start over? What? Did it just start the demo over? Wait, is this game a roguelike? <laughs> did I did I not know that going in? Is it a is does this game start over from scratch every time you die? Because holy crap. Huh. Aww. 
Things are just like, getting exciting, but I... I played with fire a little bit right before the boss fight happened, and so... I had one health going in. It looked cool. Aww. But now we just gotta start over, huh? That explains the limited inventory for items if it's a roguelike. I'm not... I don't think I'm a fan of the death screen being two arrows with no explanation of what the arrows mean. Because I don't know if I hit, like, start a new game and the other one was like, go back to a checkpoint or something. Because I could be false- I could be under, under complete false impression that this is a, a roguelike. Based on that. I mean, just generally having a bunch of unlabeled buttons on a pause menu is weird. I think- I don't think I'm going out on a limb there. I think that's a pretty... ...regular response to that. There's an 11 death door. Yeah, this is a new map. Isn't it? New-ish. Only one enemy, no! No! <laughs> They look like they're kind of at the right height to combo, but it just doesn't work out. I don't know, this room seems familiar, I just don't remember its layout, it being in this location. This is how procedural generation usually works though, is that you often have like a series of prefab rooms that are kind of being rearranged and stuff like that. Only I'd held onto that health upgrade instead of jumping off a cliff like a lunatic and losing it. And maybe I could have survived. Ah, a series of mistakes were made. But that's what happens when you're checking out a game. Oh, get out of here. Alright, well we're probably not going to regain the momentum of that lost run. So I guess this is probably a decent place to cut it since I died. So, thanks for watching like always guys. This is Eagle Island. I'm playing the free demo, which is available. You can just check it out right now if you want. And, uh, link in the description to the game itself. Ah! Thanks for watching like always guys, and I'll see you next time. Ah, the other button quits the game. Now I know.